Hey guys, it's Ashton Kaylee here and today I'm going to share some of my tips on how you can loosen up your painting. I know what you might be thinking, but Ash, what the hell do you mean loosen up your painting? It's not a jar. What's that supposed to mean? Well, paintings are often described as being or looking tight or loose based on some characteristics. A tight painting, for example, is refined, detailed, and you won't see too many visible brush strokes, if any at all. This might result in a photorealistic painting, for example. A loose painting, however, has those visible brush strokes. It's often less detailed, it looks more stylized, expressive, um, and or energetic. You can see the hand of the artist come through. Sometimes we call loose painterly, kind of the same thing, but I'm not sure how I feel about either of those terms. I feel like both can carry some negative connotations if you're not quite familiar. But for the purpose of this conversation, we'll just stick to talking about loose versus tight. Now, neither approach is right or wrong, neither is better than the other, and it just depends on what you're personally trying to achieve with your work. Your preferences, what you may want your art to lean towards one way or the other, and that can change. It doesn't have to be strictly one thing all the time. Sometimes when we're trying to level up our art skills, things tend to get tighter as we learn to control and build up our techniques, and that's totally natural, and that's great. But it can also result in stiff, cold, or overworked looking art sometimes. So if this happens, maybe you want to loosen back up again. Let me be clear, loose does not mean messy. It can be easy to think that. I think a lot of people tend to think, just mess it up a little bit and it'll look looser or more painterly. That's not the case. These things are not equal. You can't just crap out a painting by throwing around some paint and think that it's a loose masterpiece. Whether your painting is loose or tight actually comes from your mindset. Either approach takes some skill and practice to come out with something appealing. Our personalities also affect the way we naturally lean towards. If our personality is very A-type and we're very controlling, that might come through in our art. I find that a lot of my own paintings kind of lean towards the tighter end of the spectrum, and sometimes I feel like I have to practice getting a little looser with it. I personally love both styles, but there are times where you want one over the other. This painting that you're watching is me trying to do just that. I love all types of paints and I would really like my watercolors to be a bit looser. So while I work on that personally, I thought it's an excellent opportunity to share some tips with you that I find worked for me. And don't pay too much attention to the order because um, you really should be trying to implement these things all at the same time. Don't worry, it's not that much to think about. It's not some laundry list of things, but just good generalities. Number one, just chill the f out. No, really, you gotta relax. You won't be able to do a looser painting if you've got your undies twisted up in a bunch. It just doesn't work. Make sure you're comfortable physically and mentally. If you want, try standing. If you gotta sit, that's fine. Just make sure your range of motion isn't impeded and you're relatively comfortable. You can move freely. I just mean ease up that death grip on your brush and release the need for total control. World domination comes later, okay? Numero dos. Think, then strike. Confidence with your strokes are going to produce a better result than scared wimpy strokes. If you don't think that shows through, you're wrong. It does. You can totally see it. And if you're scared, your brush strokes are going to look like they are wobbly and weak, and that's just not hot. Think about the stroke before you do it. Maybe mime it a couple times if you need to, to build a little bit of uh, confidence in your motion. And then strike boldly. It may sound silly, it may even feel silly, but it totally works and you can absolutely see the difference. And just real quick, if you guys are enjoying this video, please like and subscribe for more art video goodness. It's free for you and helps support this channel and my frame of mind. I don't make anything off this channel currently. I would like to one day, but I'm not there. So your support and likes actually make me feel like it's worthwhile to somebody. And I'll just keep doing it as long as you keep watching. If you want to try any of the art supplies I use, as always, affiliate links are down in the description, so please consider using those if you're going to try out those things anyways. It's another way to show your support that doesn't increase your cost whatsoever. Thanks. Now back to it. On to number three. 
work large to small. Try to focus on form and value over details. Compose with large shapes and even use larger brushes. If you're having difficulty seeing the forest for the trees, try squinting. This will help you see blocks of color and general shapes. Don't focus on too many details right away. You want to get down the important information and only add the super important details. The most important part of your picture, stuff that actually adds value to the piece. And here's a bonus tip for you. Embrace the unexpected. I'll be real with you. Not everything turns out as hoped or expected. And sometimes it just it re really suck. And that's just the way it is. They can't all be zingers. But it's really not a waste of time or anything to fret over if we can learn from the experience. This bonus tip goes for life in general as well as creating art. Take stock of what works. Celebrate it a little bit if it makes you feel good. And be honest with yourself about what didn't work so you can make better choices next time. If you want to practice getting loose, you can try working small and fast. When we do this, we have no choice but to omit some of the details we might otherwise get wrapped up in, and hopefully that will force us to focus on the more important aspects we should include. So divide up your paper or canvas into smaller sections, put on a timer, and just go for it for a bit. Well, there it is. I hope these things have helped you. They have definitely helped me not only to loosen up my art, but enjoy my whole art process more. I hope you found some value here and if you do have any suggestions or ideas that worked for you please share them down in the comments so that we can all benefit take care of yourselves and happy creating <laughs>